by Russell Athletic. Tonight it's the ACC on ESPN and what a great way to wrap up this opening weekend of the college football season with a matchup between the two winningest teams in the ACC over the last four years. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets invade the Lane Stadium in Blacksburg to take on 16th ranked Virginia Tech That's last year. Kickoff moved up this year. It'll come down to J.C. Coleman, a true freshman who came out of the end zone and a nice return. Frank Beamer's special teams have not been quite as good in recent years as they once were. They've spent From a year ago, they're the top two receivers in school history. They think they have explosive playmakers out wide, and they throw it again to Davis. Catches this one and has a first down with a pickup of 12 ridden out by... Isaiah Johnson a safety. Let's for Virginia Tech. They've had some terrific players at that position in recent years. Thomas kept it after the fake out of the pistol. And he runs for 11. I think this is going to be the staple of Virginia Tech's offense, the pistol formation, to put him involved in the running game. He's much more of a threat, obviously. They hand it off to Perkins, the B-back, and he gets two more. But it'll be fourth down and six. They'll have to punt. Luther Matty clogged the middle and made the tackle. Ex coach calls the plays. Gain of four, second and six. And Thomas keeps it again. And has the first down. Punt it. Thomas zings one. Diving catch made by Dyrell Roberts. For an eight-yard gain years ago and missed most of last year with a broken arm. Right there you see a little bit Thomas, number 14, hesitant on his break. Usually defensive backs are hesitant. Chip offers. Here is a tight end and converted to quarterback. It seems to be a very good move as it's complete to Corey Fuller. Transfer from Kansas where he was a track star, not a football player. His first catch is a hokey, good for 12 yards and a first down. The fastest guy on the team, so he's working on sweeting the corner. Does a good job of driving him upfield, making sweeting come out of his break. And when the defensive back comes out of his break, his shoulders. Holmes lunges forward inside the 20 and down to the 17 yard line. They're all big, all three of them, Young, Drummond, and Holton, would have been starters. And now you see some holes opening up in that defense as Holmes rambles down to the six-yard line. Isaiah Johnson saved the touchdown. Fatigue. Look at T.J. Barnes. Big number 40 in the middle. Does a good job of controlling, but is not... The fake to Holmes, and the throw, touchdown! Eric Martin, the tight end. Thomas. Second career touchdown catch. Just the fourth reception of his career for Martin. Quick toss to Orwin Smith. And he's upended by Kyle Fuller. The outstanding cornerback. Here. College football season underway. A great way to cap this opening weekend. Not a great way to end the run for Owen Smith. The late pitch. And he got taken down by Jack Tyler. Because of the aggressiveness of the Virginia Tech defense, Jack Tyler outstanding. Why? Because he did not go for the fake. He saw the pooling guard. He trusted us midfield for the Yellow Jackets. Third and 15. This is not their game, the play-action pass. And James Gale has the sack. James Gale right here down at the bottom of the screen. Let's see what he beats him with. He comes off, and they try to cut block him, and you throw a no-hitter on a cut block. James Gale had seven. Four-yard punt. They have the ball at their own 30. And Logan Thomas. Fourteen more on the run for the Virginia Tech. You see everywhere out of the pistol, the read zone. Logan Thomas wants to run the football. That's that's a great thing when you have a quarterback and a stud like that. The willingness to keep the football. I'm not sure J.C. Coleman did not want to run it right there. Looked like Logan wanted to give it to him, didn't he? Back behind Joey Phillips. 
The pass caught. Nice catch. Arms extended over his head. Marcus Davis. He sees the safety come up in the box. He checks to this play. They had a running play on. He saw the safety come up, and they checked to a three-step quick slant drop to Marcus Davis. He goes up and does a good job of catching. Record 44-inch vertical at 6'4", 232. Michael Holmes to the 45-yard line. First time since 1966, but won only two of their last seven. Running room there for the redshirt freshman Holmes. He's across midfield to the Yellow Jacket 48 in the first down. Ryan Steinspring said Holmes reminds him of Evans. Logan Thomas said he reminds me of Ryan Williams. Shakes a tackle. Gets down to the 44-yard line. Would indicate. Vagalaski. Very little, less than a yard. Jan Gouveia Winslow, the son of the former Washington Redskin, Kurt Gouveia, made the tackle. Kevin Washington taken down for a loss. Luther Maddy. Well, he spoke with Bud really good, not because our offensive linemen aren't that good. I think Luther's really good. Well, he's a big boy that can move and go down the line of scrimmage right there. He's on an inside dart. And the thing that he does well is he's playing with his eyes. He sees an offensive lineman. Kevin Washington back in the end zone got belted as he throws a deep ball incomplete. Boy, did he take a shot back in the end zone from Jaron Gavea Winslow. Vacate his zone, and he's coming what they call second contain. He vacates his zone and is able to force the throw by Tevin Washington. And I like the guts of Tevin Washington delivering that ball, understanding his team they've battled for the Coastal Division title last seven years. Logan Thomas with good field position on target, first down. To the 31-yard line to Corey Fuller, 13 yards. Splits. Third down and four. God high, got walloped and lost the ball out of bounds, short of the first down. J.R. Collins and Kaishan Jarrett combined on the play. But the difference is, they do not get chopped down right there. Collins fights off the block, and you get good safety support from Kaishan Jarrett. And no missed tackles, which is also a plus. Including Moore, 6-3. On second and ten, Washington forced to pitch it out to Godhigh, and he's taken down immediately by Antone Exum. 7-7 seven, seven the score at the half. Now Reese Davis. Mark Manutech tied at seven. Only 244 yards of offense combined. Virginia Tech had a decided edge in time of possession. They ran a lot of third and medium. And they don't get third and less than three. As Sims is denied. Yes. Bostic in trouble and stopped well short of the first down. So in a defensive battle, Paul Johnson rolling the dice. Defensive end does a good job of not getting chopped or cut block. Uses his hands, plays off the offensive tackle. Number 69, Tyler Kidney, makes a huge... The Georgia Tech defense held again. Washington, woo, problems on the exchange. Sims was bobbling it, managed to hang on. All right there for the Hokies. That's a poor read by Tevin Washington right there. A difficult read. I, mean, I really think Sims does... Given time, pulls it down, going nowhere. Yard and a half before J.R. Collins took him down. <laughs> Wonderful moment here at halftime. The Hokie radio broadcasters on their football network, Bill Roth, the play-by-play -play man, and Mike Burnup, honored as they begin their 25th year together. And they are as good as anybody in our business, enormously popular. What a tremendous ovation they got. And a nice gesture by... The folks here at Virginia Tech, they're going to try to start an endowment in memory of Mike Burnham's wife, Ellen, and Bill Roth's sister, Linda. Both of them passed away this summer. Gaze has worked also as an A-back. They think he's a physical talent. And he couldn't get free from the tackle of Jack Tyler in space. Nice tackle because it looked drive could have still been moving, Chris. Yeah, 10 guys doing a job, one guy not. If Sims gets his block right here, it's a first down in Georgia Tech. 
still keeps the drive alive. Take a look. He dives at his ankles, throws a no-hitter. Excellent job of Jack. There's the running back to the right of Thomas. They rush five. He throws a quick pop and a first down. Corey Fuller has had a nice night. He's the brother of Kyle Fuller, the defensive back, and the former Logie Vincent Fuller. Well, that's a good read by Logan Thomas for Fuller. Another Fuller apparently on his way to Virginia Tech with a brother in high school is one of the top players in the country. J.C. Coleman. Third down and two. Big play from the 38. Coleman, the freshman, bounces outside. First down. Yeah, Al Groh had the call. Right now he has Jameer Thomas coming on the blitz. The problem is, his outside linebacker, Atalchu, if you got a guy coming from the blitz, you got to get with to bounce that ball back into pursuit. He got caught up inside. 8.20 to go, and breaking free is Davis. They missed the tackle, and he can fly. Lost the football, and the Hokies recover at the 40-yard line. Let's see what they do. They spread him out. They run the slant. They the run. tackle. Yep. Al well, Groh talked last night about those short passes. You need to close quickly and make those tackles and sweeting with. And you wonder if fatigue is setting in for these defensive players who played just about the end. Joey Phillips. Not in field goal range yet. Thomas wants the lead. Has a man open. Caught with a flag down. Touchdown. Dimitri Knowles, the freshman. His first career catch has given the Hokies the lead. Pass to put them ahead. Never underestimate fresh legs. Starts with good protection. Demetria Knowles coming off the bench. Sweeting, perhaps a little bit tired. Is lazy getting out of his break? Surprised a little bit by the fresh legs of Knowles. Just gets run by. Poor technique. And Logan Thomas on target. Roberts. After they've done nothing all day. Deion Hill thrown down for a loss. Great reaction to the ball by Tyrell Wilson and Dietrich Bonner. They go out of the pistol. Rare that he's not under center. And Godhai chopped down at the line of scrimmage by Kyle Fuller. Three wide receivers as he goes out of the gun. Four-man rush from Georgia Tech and a receiver wide open. Corey Fuller's had a big night. Game, they still aren't here in field goal range. Yeah, they tackle him there, but Fuller breaks free! And he's down inside the 25. Now they are in field goal range. To tie it and likely send it into overtime. Given the second chance, he delivers! Execution of fundamentals. And it was... It was going a little right, but he had enough in there where he trusted his training and comes back from a tough miss to tie it up to give his team still an opportunity to go in overtime. We're back in Blacksburg, Virginia. They're heading to overtime. Washington running out of time. Throws it up for grabs and it's intercepted by Fuller. Oh, what a terrible mistake. Now any score will win for the Hokies. Well, I'm telling you, Sean, he had Deion Hill. Looked like he was looking right at him all alone in the end zone. Nobody within 15 yards at number 31, Deion Hill. 37-yard field goal to take the lead. But he threw it away, and now here's Holmes up the middle. Hand off again. Holmes through the defense. Holmes inside the five and down at the one. So about changing the line of scrimmage right there. Vi gets a good kick out block and Holmes one cut and done. That's his M.O. He hit one cut and he had that second gear right through the hole. Last play of regulation. Now he can win it with a chip shot in overtime. Virginia Tech will not stumble out of the gate as it has so often in recent years. And the Georgia Tech season Begins as the last one ended with an excruciating overtime loss. Logan Thomas and the Hokies win a thriller in the opener. 2017 the final. Sports.